Each of those victims, Your Honor, deserves a separate sentence unto themselves. And that's what they got. Long sentences for two men convicted in the murders of four people. Good evening. I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Erica Thomas. Prosecutors say if there's ever been a case in Mahoning County calling for the maximum penalty, this is the one. Just last week, a jury found Michael Austin and Hakeem Henderson guilty of murder. And today, they learned their fate. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti was inside the courtroom as the victim's family members demanded justice. He has our top story tonight at 6. One by one, family members of the victims of Michael Austin and Hakeem Henderson stood before the judge this afternoon asking for justice for their loved one's lives. So all of my life, all I had was him. We were very close. Ramel doesn't get his chances are up. His, he, he's gone. While the uncle of Ramel Hayes couldn't finish, he simply turned and walked away. The victim's grandmother said she won't live her life in anger. I will not allow them to take up space in my mind by not forgiving them. Their hands is in the hands of God. Prosecutors say Austin and Henderson were responsible for the murders of four people in 2011 and 2012, acting as enforcers for a local drug dealer. These two defendants are truly the worst defendants I've ever encountered. Although prosecutors stressed the crimes deserved back-to-back -back life sentences, Austin argued his rights had been violated during the trial, complaining the jury that heard the case was older and mostly white, not his peers. They don't even see anyone of my skin complexion drive through their neighborhood on a daily basis. Y'all was looking for bad guys. I hate to be the bear of bad news, but it's just not us. But Judge Jack Durkin said he had no doubt if Austin was ever released, he would pick right back up where he left off. So it's my obligation to ensure that you cannot hurt and that you will not hurt anyone else. Austin, who was convicted in all four of the murders, was sentenced to consecutive terms of life without parole. Henderson, who was found guilty in two deaths, was given 36 years to life. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.